Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always, and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, kindly be seated for some announcements. During the celebration of the Mass, we are all requested to wear our face mask properly at all times, to observe physical distancing of at least one meter from one another, to not occupy the seats with X marks, and to sanitize as often as needed. During Holy Communion, we shall proceed by rows starting on the right side facing the altar after the last person on the right side receives the communion, those on the left side shall follow by the same order by rows. Please follow the ushers or the directional signs on the floor. Holy Communion will be given by hand. To maintain a safe distance from our presider, please extend your arms in receiving the Holy Communion. After receiving the host in your hands, Please make a few side steps to the left or right, depending on which side you are seated. Remove the mask to consume the hose. Please make sure to put on your mask before walking back to your seats. In exiting the shrine, we shall follow the same order in receiving the Holy Communion, except that those seated at the back will exit first using the main entrance. Thank you very much. Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 17th week of Ordinary Time, Saturday. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass and for those prayer requests placed in the Shrine's Facebook page. For Thanksgiving, Aida Abelion, John D., Ada, and Jared Bondia, Greggy, Joanna, and Ali Abelon, Amalia Cristostomo Cabrera, and family. For the special intentions of Jocelyn Tabuso, Leonardo Tabuso, Geraldine Reyes, Ward 55 Cash Nurses, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, officers and staff of the National Electrification Administration and Electric Operatives, Francisco Datol Jr. and Datol family, for complete recovery and for the donors and benefactors of the Shrine. For the healing of Christy Perez, Jerry Martinez, Father June Balay, SVD, Ricardo Bautista, Emelita Bautista, Porita Ala, and Anna Mer Merli Migo. For the souls of Mariano, Manolito, Herman, Gregorio Jr., Precious Adriana, Baby Angel, Rufina, Gerardo, Raul, Rodolfo, Delphine, Anita, and all souls in Purgatory. Our Mass Presider today is Father Ron Ray S. Martinez, SVD, Vice Rector of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Sing a new song and 
unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing alleluia. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung. From mountains high, sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Father. Both present here in the shrine and in the live streaming of this Mass. Today is now August 1. We live up to the Lord. First, we thank the Lord for the past months. And we ask the Lord for the grace of strength and courage as we face this new month that come ahead of us. And also, today is the memorial of Saint Alfonso de Liguri. He is bishop and doctor of the church. He died in 1787. He was the founder of the Redemptorist. The Redemptorist are, are the ones managing the the one in Baclaran, the our mother perpetual help. He is a master of moral theology and patron of confessors and moral theologians. We also bring to the Lord our requests and intentions in this Mass. And for us to worthily offer this Mass, let us first ask sorry and pardon from our Lord for the sins we have committed. Together I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Manalangin tayo. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his seal for souls as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The priests and prophets said to the princes and to all the people, This man deserves death. He has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah gave this answer to the prince and all the people. It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city, all that you have heard. Now, therefore, reform your ways and your deeds. Listen to the voice of the Lord our God, so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he threatens you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think good and right. But mark well, if you put me to death, it is innocent blood you bring up on yourselves, on this city and its citizens. 
For in truth, it was the Lord who sent me to you to speak all these things for you to hear. Thereupon, the princes and all the people said to the priests and prophets, This man does not deserve death. It is in the name of the Lord our God that he speaks to us. So Achiham, son of Shaphan, protected Jeremiah, so that he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Rescue me out of the mire, may I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes, from the watery depths. Let not the flood waters overwhelm me, nor the abyss swallow me up, nor the peat close its mouth over me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in the bonds, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod, the Tetrarch, heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias, performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that he be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our friends, brothers and sisters, 
Actually, there are many ways to explain the gospel for today. There could be plenty of perspectives. Pero para sa akin, I want to focus only sa humbiling ito on just one angle na for me, relevant to our struggle in this pandemic. Ang gusto kasi sa ating homily, connected to our struggle. So what is this angle? How to approach problems that comes along our way in this crisis? How to approach problems that come along our way? To start, meron po akong basic rule na na napulot when I was in my exposure kasi nag-aral ako ay nagturo ako minsan sa isang university and minsan yung may isang estudyante I read her reflection and for me that was very beautiful sabi doon sa kanyang reflection we have to avoid solving our problem with another problem kasi daw kung ating solusyon ay problema lang naman doon sa problema, we will just be creating another problem. For example, kung ang problema natin ay pera, I think hindi solusyon ang mangnakaw o manloko ng kapwa o mandaya kasi it will just incur more problems for us and for our family and for our reputation. Pangalawa, for example, kung ang problema na mag-asawa ay hindi pagkaintindihan nga yung pandemic, sa tingin ko, hindi po solusyon yung magsigawan at karaniwan kasi nalata ako pag ang mga mag-asawa nag-aaway, especially, they want to pinpoint the weakness of one another, putting down the person. Pangalawang, pangatlong example, kung meron tayong nakaaway, sa tingin ko, hindi solusyon yung pagpatay kaya nga po, this is very connected sa first reading as a gospel. Bakit sa first reading, yung mga priest and old people of Israel, para sa kanila, kalaban si Jeremiah, and they are planning his death to get rid of him. So that was their solution. Pang, sa gospel naman ngayon, flashback, nag-flashback si Herod Tetrarch. When he saw Jesus, akala niya, si Jesus ang bumangon sa kamatayan na si John the Baptist, then nag flashback na siya. Kaya yung gospel ngayon, actually, it was just a flashback of memory. Naala niya tuloy na pinapatay niya pala si John the Baptist because John the Baptist was criticizing him and his wife. So their solution is to get rid of him. But ang tanong dito... It seems an easy solution to their problems. But kung may mga solution po tayong gustong gawin, ang maganda mga tanong ay, first, will the solution really settle the problem? Pangalawa, kung gagawin ko ito, will it give me true freedom and peace? At pangatlong dapat natin tanungin before we execute a decision, is it the right thing to do? Kasi po, alam niyo po pala, pag meron tayong binitiwan na decision, magiging part pa yan ating memory. And whatever become part of our memory, we will be carrying the weight in our conscience until our lifetime. Look at Herod. Nag-start na siya mag-flashback. I believe, kahit maligo pa siya, magsabon pa siya, maligo pa siya ng two hours, hindi masasama ng sabon, yung ginawa niya, It will always remind him that what he did was wrong and it will never give true peace. Kaya nga po, when, especially this pandemic, before we choose decisions for our lives, always remember and ask, will this decision give me true peace? Will this decision really settles the problem? So ang tanong ngayon, so what, can, ano, what are the general rule for at least to arrive not to solve the problem, but at least to approach our problem in a proper way. So una, just want to share with you, so be, just some general rule, tatlo lang naman. Una, please take time to pray. Bring your problems to God. 
before making big decision. At kung yung problema ninyo will involve the entire family, bring the entire family to prayer. Like, for example, pwede mag-rosary or kahit malamang 10 minutes of silence and ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten every individual. Kasi alam nyo, mayroon din kasi physical benefit ang pagdarasal. Pag ang tao nagdarasal, yung, yung, yung heart rate niya, binabalansin niya. Ibig sabihin, yung dugo, yung dali ng dugo sa ating emotions, bababa. Kasi para pag na tayo, hindi galing sa init ng ulo yung ating desisyon. Sa tingin ko, pinapatay ni Herod si John the Baptist at yung mga tao sa New Testament. Gusto niyang ipapatay yung Jeremiah kasi mainit ang ulo eh. Sa tingin ko, kung nagdasal muna si Herod, kung nagdasal muna yung mga tao sa First Testament na binisa natin, I think they will not be thinking to neutralize people. So prayer is very important. It enlightens us. It enables us to listen to the voice of God. Pangalawa, ngayon din po palang pandemic, when we are confronted and faced with big problem, please do not keep it to yourself alone. Kasi baka ano pang maiisip natin, it's very important to share what you are thinking and feeling to others. Pangalawa, it's also very important to, to solicit advice from others to gather ideas, better ideas. Ang ginagawa ko nga yung pandemic, yung mga plano ko sa buhay, sinusulat ko na at nilagay ko na sa harapan ng table ko para araw-araw nakikita ko, pinapaala sa akin na ito pala yung better ideas and it helps me. At kung meron akong naramdaman, sinusulat ko, nilagay ko din sa harapan ng ano para ito remind me na this is what I am feeling right now. Pangatlo pala, third general rule, pag may problema, uh, I think it's very important to talk it with your spouse kung may asawa or kung if the decision and problem involves will affect the entire family, sana magkaroon muna kayong family meeting. Kaya sa tingin ko, during the pandemic, kahit may social distancing, I think weekly you have to gather in a sofa and mag-meeting. Narinig ko po itong sikretong ito from my priest friend who died already. Ang kwento niya sa akin, nang bata daw sila, the entire high school niya, gamag college sila, maalala niya daw na bata siya, yung tatay nila and nanay always call for a family meeting every Saturday. One hour to two hours. Kasi doon sila magkakapatid. Ano ginagawa nila doon sa family meeting? Una, ang bawat isa will say something. Magre-report na kanya pinagdaanan for the week. Bawat isa magsasalita. At hindi magsasalita ang tatay-nanay daw. Lahat muna sa magre-report. Paka-report nila naman, mag, mag ano na yung, ako anong special issue sa family, pag-uusapan na. Para maging maliwana. Pangatlo, kung meron decision daw yung parents nila na may effect sa entire family, explain sa mga anak bakit ito yung kanyang decision. So you see the importance kasi magiging collaborative and teamwork na yung problema. We, we can learn from their experience. So I think maganda siguro to at least once a month this pandemic or every week gather the family and take a meeting para mapag-usapan ang course of action that will affect everybody's lives. And to close this homily, again, let us be reminded, uh, we have to avoid solving our problem with another problem. Because if we do, we'll be creating more and more problem. The world is already getting noisier, disorganized, and disorderly. At if you want to make a difference, I think the best start is to com- contribute is small right decisions. Kindly rise. 
gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen word, we pray. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in, po in opposing the subtle influences of evil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the promised everlasting home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our other intentions. <coughs> we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Take our Blessed bread, we ask you take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Blessed are you, Lord, God, bread, we ask you to take one. our lives, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Please rise. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be... Uh, my, Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your Spirit, just as you granted that St. Alphonsus should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy. Sana, O Sana, in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, I pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Alphonsus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to everyone. Peace with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave us St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We, we pray, pray that, that you guide the people tasked to find cures for the disease, disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. 
Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Fredanovitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.